now unto him that's able. See, we've got to put our trust back is what I want us to get our focus back on. Is the moment you and I get our focus back on Christ and back to the B-I-B-L-E. Yes, that's the book for me. I stand upon the Word of God. The B-I-B-L-E, that's my book. I don't know about you. That's my Bible. And I believe what the Word says. And as the world is getting to the point now that not just the world, but the worldly crowd is wanting to tell us that the Word doesn't work. And we've got skeptics that says the Word don't work. And they've always been those that says it don't work. But I want to tell this generation right now that we are the now generation. And what the Word says we can have, we can have it. And what the Word says we can do, we can do it. And what the Word says we can be, we can be it. Come on. And so he said here in Ephesians 3 and verse 20, Now, now, not tomorrow, now unto him. See, some of us has got to stop thinking we've missed it. You, you didn't hear me. I said some of us has got to stop thinking we've missed our opportunity. If you're still breathing and you're still living, and you're not in the ground, and you've not died, and, I, and if you're watching this, let me help you out, you've not died yet. And so, we've got to stop thinking we've missed our opportunity. But we've got to trust back in the Word of God and realize that we might be faced with some things. And I didn't say that we wouldn't be faced with things, and I didn't say that we wouldn't come up against, like the old saying is, our back against the wall. But as I was preaching not too long ago over in Haddock's, Kentucky, I said that, that it's the greatest place to be is when your back gets against the wall. And I'm not the only one ever said it. To, but it's when our back's against the wall. That's as far as we can go back now. The only thing is it's time to go forward. See, sometimes we've got to get pushed back until our back gets against the wall. We can't go back no farther because if it wasn't for our back, going back and touching the wall and that's our stopping point we wouldn't trust in the word we wouldn't stop and say I surrender see it's time you and I realize that now on the end this moment this very second he is able to do oh come on now he's able to do exceedingly catches abundantly above all now here's here's the here's the big part that we that above all that we can ask or think. And I can ask for some big things. And I can think of some huge things. But he said he's able to do it. But catch this. According to the power that worketh in us. So you mean to tell me that there's power inside of us? Yes. Jesus Christ that lives on the inside of you and I that He is our power. And there's power in us because now Christ has come to live in us. We are now, according to Corinthians, we are now the temple of God. And another part said we are the temple of the Holy Ghost. And so if we are the temple of God, in other words, if we are the house of God here on earth for God to live in, to dwell in, then we have power in us because Christ is power and so if Christ is power and he's in us so all of a sudden if that power we allow Christ to work through us in us and through us then all of a sudden that now unto him it's able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or think so the moment we begin to ask for it and we begin to think on it now we believe that Christ that's in us all of a sudden he's going to manifest what we ask and believing for that according to the word of God, it will be done. I've come today to tell you, don't be fearful. Don't be in doubt. Don't stop listening to the skeptics. And stop thinking you've missed your opportunity. Listen, that church man told you you're no good. You'll never amount anything. Why don't you quit? You, there's no use you trying. But I come to tell you today, and I know I'm talking fast because I'm excited. Because I want you to hurry up and realize this is your now moment. Woo! This is your moment to get up and understand he's able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all that you can ask or think of. 
because the power of God's working in you. Woo! My God, that's that's enough right there. Just a holler. Woo! Glory! <laughs> you might as well go ahead and do it. You want to do it right now? Go ahead. Woo! Glory! <laughs> Understand that Christ loves you. He loves you. And he, he cares for you. But today is the day to realize, now, this moment, see Hebrews 11 and 1, now faith is. Now, you've got to understand that three-letter word is very powerful. Now, 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 now I will get up. You can even say that, come on. Now I will get up. Now I will go forward. You, you better say it because you can't go back because you went as far as you can go back. Now it's time for you to go forward and walk into greatness. Greatness is ahead of you. You've got it. You've got what it takes. You know why? Because Christ is in you. And if Christ isn't in you and you're watching this clip, all you got to do is ask him, say, Lord Jesus, come in my life. Forgive me. I believe you died and rose again just for me so I can be forgiven of the sins that I've committed.